Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the upcoming period. And as we start out, guess what? We are officially into fall now. So summer is a very close memory, but it is going to be, it's going away from us now. But look at this, starting out our period on Friday, it doesn't look like fall is in any rush to get here. We're going to see temperatures up near 80 again. And that's pretty warm getting into September 23rd. That's pretty warm, especially since considering the temperature should only be in the upper 60s now. But as you can see right here, as we get towards the end of the period, look at this, we're getting towards October. You can definitely tell those average highs are getting much lower down into the mid-60s. And as you can see right here, our daylight and nighttime are just about equal now as we're just about around the equinox. So 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night. But as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to be going on with our weather for the upcoming period. And I know for anybody who's really hoping for a little bit more rain, we got about half an inch um, last weekend. So even though it wasn't too much, every bit counts. But coming up Friday, after this cold front goes by Friday morning, look at what's coming in from Canada. We are going to have cold for at least for this time of the year, cold northerly winds coming down between this high and low pressure center that's going to be moving off to our east. And that's going to bring in very cool and extremely dry Canadian air. And basically the entire period, we're going to see nothing but sunshine. So absolutely no drought busting rains coming, that's for sure. And as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the drought. I know we've been showing this so much recently, but it's something we really have to focus on, especially here in the Burlington area. And look at this, folks. As of about a week and a half ago, over 50% of Massachusetts is now in this extreme drought category. And... If we continue on with the type of dryness that we've seen the past couple of months, I wouldn't be um, shocked to see this um, extend into exceptional drought, which is the worst case scenario in terms of drought. So unfortunately, we did get a little bit of rain the past couple of past week or so, but it doesn't look like anything else is going to be coming to, to get us wet at all, that's for sure. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you that, and that's going to be reflected in our seven-day forecast. Look at this on Friday. Just a very slight chance of some showers. Maybe not even maybe not even a rumble of thunder with this. As you can know, we haven't really seen too many thunderstorms this summer either. But temperatures Friday starting out around 80. But look at this after that, going all the way through almost to the end of next period. Temperatures are going to cool way down. By the time we get to Sunday, temperatures are going to barely make it into the 60s. And look at this. Waking up Monday morning, I wouldn't be surprised for you to get out a heavier coat because I think we're going to see temperatures around Burlington in the maybe as far down as the mid and upper 30s and those types of morning lows are going to continue right out almost to the end of the week and as we get to Thursday maybe introducing a chance of a little bit of rain and temperatures though look at this warming up again into the 70s as we head in towards October. So if you have any outdoor plans coming up we're going to have absolutely beautiful weather out there so get out there folks and enjoy the first full week of fall.